DFCU has believed in our dream. We have worked together and we have managed to educate all these children. If DFCU wouldn't be around, then we don't know what we would have done. If it wasn't for DFCU, definitely there would be a big gap in this market. In this lesson, we shall understand what... Victorious Education Services is a successful business that offers quality education at an affordable price for a growing population. It's found a market in Uganda and wants to expand, but it's had trouble finding the money to do so. Victorious began in 1999 with three members of staff and 30 pupils. But we have grown over the years to four campuses now. We have four campuses and also the number of staff has grown because we have 400 staff and over 4,000 children in the four campuses. In the beginning, we did not have any uh, security. So when we would go to the banks, the banks wanted security and we didn't have security. So they would deny us funding. Victorious turned to DFCU Bank for help. It's one of Uganda's leading banks and has a special focus on helping small and medium-sized businesses, often seen as the drivers of job creation. It gave Victorious the money it was seeking to buy land to build more schools. First and foremost, DFCU uh, enabled us to purchase this place that I'm sitting on. Then DFCU also enabled us to purchase another building in the kindergarten. Then just adjacent to this building, we have a field. We didn't have a playground. DFCU enabled us to purchase that field. For many companies like Victorious, access to finance is a key factor holding back growth. For the last 50 years, DFCU Bank has tried to address this shortage of finance. Set up in 1964 by the Government of Uganda and CDC, the UK's development finance institution, the bank currently has 36 branches around the country. Today, it's strengthening its presence in retail banking and agriculture finance, as well as expanding into new areas like mobile banking. Over the years, CDC has been an active investor and has provided advice to help the bank develop and grow. 50 years is not a short time by any means, but CDC has stuck to the FCU 50 years, even through the difficult times they've been with us. This is very important for us to have a long-term shareholder who is committed and dedicated to the growth of the FCU and believes in our vision and mission in this country. Juma Kisami started out as an accountant and is today the first Ugandan to become CEO. Ugandans run the bank's day-to-day -day operations. Michael Mbusa is a branch manager in Kampala. I'll be very honest with you that DFCU Bank is the only bank in this country that will present you the greatest opportunities in terms of growth. I joined as a teller and grew uh, through the ranks to become branch manager and all that happened in just a period of three years. Very exciting. The range of businesses helped by the bank is broad. As well as educational institutions like Victorious, DFCU Bank helps agribusinesses and the manufacturing and construction industries. Abu Baker Technical Services is a road building business which competes for local contracts. The loans it receives from DFCU Bank help it to buy the equipment it needs. It came in 2010, we did not have any machine. Now we had started building for Tamaka roads in the city and the major requirement was machines. So we approached DFCU Bank. When we approached them, fortunately, they gave us a lease of about 700 million Uganda shillings. Immediately, we bought about two, five machines. So from there, we started getting many, many jobs. The UK's Department for International Development recognises the important role that banks like DFCU play in Uganda. 
Uganda has one of the youngest populations of any country in the world and they've got a huge challenge here which is creating enough jobs for those young people. And one of the factors that stands in the way of that is the fact that businesses aren't growing fast enough. Um, we need businesses to grow to create jobs and the way we're going to help businesses to grow is to ensure that they can get the finance that they need to expand. A recent loan of $10 million from CDC has helped strengthen DFCU Bank's lending capability. This will enable the bank to support more of the small and medium-sized businesses which are vital to Uganda's economic development. With CDC support, DFCU Bank is now looking forward to the next 50 years. I think DFCU has been a very resilient institution. We've survived the ups and downs and uh, we are here to celebrate 50 years of existence.